Hello, Les from Thailand here. Today's video is going to be about how you renew your driver's license once your original license has expired. Usually your first license that you get in here lasts for two years and then you've got to go and get a renew license which will last for five years. This is quite easily done, it's not too complicated, it's not difficult. Um, it's more time consuming than, than anything else. Um, now mine was due on July the 2nd, that's when I was 60 and that's when my five years expired. Because of the Covid I couldn't get it before so I had to go after July. But getting it a little bit later extends it a little bit. So now I've got a, a license for five years, 11 months. So there was some advantages of leaving it a little bit. If you leave it for more than one year expired from your two years or your renewal of five years, then you'll have to go through the whole test process again. But you have up to a year uh, after the expiry date to renew it. So don't be worried if it's expired. So. There's numerous paperwork to be done with regard to your license. Now I've looked at all the posts of what you needed and what you didn't need and I would go on the safe side and get more than what you required as opposed to not enough. You go to the doctors and he does a blood pressure test and heart test and make, basically make sure that you're still alive and that usually costs about 200 baht. Now when I went and renewed my motorbike license they asked for a medical certificate which I didn't have so my wife pleaded with them said oh listen I'm sorry we, we forgot we didn't know and they sort of bypassed it but they said the next time you come to get your car license make sure you have a medical certificate so this time I looked at all the paperwork required and it's not a lot uh, a copy of your passport the front page and also a copy of your visa you need to go to immigration and get a, a residency certificate to say that you're, you're living here and that is valid for seven days. So then armed with all the paperwork, I had my medical certificate which cost me 200 baht, I had my residency certificate which cost me 500 baht. We went down to the driver licensing centre the day after. Now my suggestion is to go there very early because there's lots and lots of people every day trying to renew their license so the queues are quite big. Time consuming from the minute we got there 8 o'clock even though the office didn't open till 9 o'clock there was big queues there so um, my wife came with me to act as translator in case there was questions needed to be asked and I didn't understand because at the driver licensing place English really isn't wide spoken but because of the restrictions with COVID, my wife wasn't allowed to come in with me, so I had to go in there on my own, which again, wasn't too difficult because most of the signs are in English and in Thai, and the people that are in there are more than helpful. They pushed me in the right direction, pointed in the right direction, and between me and them, we got there in the end. Um, it's a bit of a, a laugh and carry on because it, it's just so chaotic in there. There's, people shouting at each other for for names and come and stand in this queue come and stand in that queue <laughs> it's quite funny to, to to observe it and see now i'm going to put some photographs up of the office that i went to now there's some tests that you've got to do also once you've submitted all the paperwork and you've got through the that first stage where you've handed it in at the desk and then they the sit you down and then they call your name out to do some various tests. Now there's like four tests to do and the first test that you do is a colour blindness test. And if you fail this, instant failure. You don't get another chance as far as taking your test concern. If you're colour blind in this country, you don't get a license. So once you pass the colour blindness test, then there's a reaction test where basically it's, it's an accelerator and a brake and a little green light comes on and you put your foot on the accelerator and as soon as the red light comes on you take your foot off the accelerator and put it on the brake. Now with these following tests you're allowed three attempts so if you can drive a car it's there's no problem whatsoever. And then the the next test on after the brake test is the distance test and basically the, there's two pieces of doweling and you have to make sure that they're both lined up. You have a 
you have a machine that moves the dowel slowly forward and then you can once they're aligned you, you stop stop that and then if you fail that it's three attempts and if you fail that after three attempts you can come back the following day and do all the tests again so it's not difficult it's it's easy to do and then after that test there's the uh, peripheral vision test where you put your head in, into a contraption and you, you have lights that come up either left or right green yellow or red and then she presses the button you tell her what color comes up and then three or four of them so after the peripheral vision test that's it that's the, all the tests done and completed then you take your paperwork to another desk and they stamp it and then you go in to watch a video um, usually lasts for an hour long but the the time that i went they reduce it by 30 minutes they've taken all the car crash scenes out at the end so the hour-long video has been reduced to 30 minutes and you've been given a, a a book with all the road signs in and speed limits and parking regulations now we're talking it's in chinese it's in thai it's in english so it's interesting to actually have a look through and then if there's any signs or things that you don't know it refreshes your mind but basically if, if you can drive in England and you know the Eng and you passed your English driving test most of the signs are just the same as being in English so it's not difficult whatsoever then once you've watched the, the video you go and stand in another queue you get your paperwork and then you go and get a photograph taken for your new license and then once a the photograph's been taken you go to another desk hand the paperwork in pay your money which is 550 baht which is what about 13 14 pounds and then 10 or 15 minutes later they give you your license and away you go and that lasts for five years but as i said because i did mine after my 60th birthday it it's up for renewal when i'm 66 so I've got five years and 11 months out of it, which wasn't too bad. So the whole process is more time consuming than difficult. The paperwork isn't difficult to do. You don't need an awful lot of paperwork to get your driver's license. But by having a driver's license saves you whole loads of chew because it's 400 by the time. And if you have an accident, you don't have a driver's license. Invariably, you won't be insured. So, if you've got any questions, ask them down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Please subscribe and watch the rest of my videos that I've done. And from Les, living the dream in Thailand. Until the next time, bye for now.